Windows 10 is the latest edition of the operating system launched by Microsoft Corporation in 2015. Activation is necessary to gain full access to all the features of Windows 10. However, Windows users across the globe often face error 0x004c003 while upgrading their older version or installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. Windows error code 0x004c003 occurs when users try to activate Windows 10 after the installation process has been completed. Particularly, those users who are upgrading to Windows 10 from Windows 7 or 8.1 mostly report this problem. Some of the primary causes of error 0x004c003 are invalid product key, non-activated copy of Windows 10, busy Windows update servers, or a full installation of Windows 10. If you are also facing error 0x004c003, Watch this video to learn how to fix this bug. Number 1. Run an slmgr.vbs command. Windows activation servers have a limited capacity. When they get overloaded with a high number of Windows 7 or 8 8.1 users trying to upgrade to Windows 10 simultaneously. Some connections are refused. Hence, they start receiving error code 0x004c003 and need to retry activation at a later time. Users trying to upgrade their legally activated versions of Windows 7 or 8.1 can activate Windows 10 after waiting for a couple of hours by following these steps. 1. Open settings by pressing the Windows key plus I. 2. Select Update and Security section. 3. Choose the Activation tab and tap the Activate button. For forced activation of Windows 10, follow these steps. 1. Launch Command Prompt by pressing Windows key plus X or typing CMD in Windows Search. 2. Choose Command Prompt, Admin, to run the program as an administrator. 3. Type slmgr.vbs rearm in the black dialog box and hit enter to execute the command. 4. Wait for a few minutes until the command is executed. 5. Reboot your system to save the changes. Number 2. Reset your system. One very basic solution to fix error 0x004c003 is resetting the system. Although this technique is not much effective, users should try it once before moving on and trying other steps. The procedure for resetting the PC slash laptop is given below. 1. Open settings by pressing the Windows key plus I. 2. Select Update and Security section. 3. Tap on Recovery followed by Reset this PC option. 4. Click on Get Started and wait until the resetting process completes. Number 3. Contact Microsoft after hardware change. Usually, the user's hardware configuration is registered with the Microsoft Activation Servers while activating Windows 10 for the first time. No product key, therefore, is required when users are reinstalling Windows 10 because the digital entitlement method completes the activation process by verifying the registered hardware. However, replacing key components in your PC or laptop can interrupt activation with the digital entitlement method. In such a case, you need to contact Microsoft customer support first and provide them with complete details about any hardware changes you have made to your machine. Hopefully, Windows 10 will not refuse activation this time. Number 4. Verify your product key. You may be facing 0x004c003 due to an invalid product key. You can find your product key by using command prompt. Given below are steps. 1. Launch command prompt by pressing Windows key plus X or typing CMD in Windows search. 2. 
choose command prompt, admin, to run the program as an administrator. 3. Type MCPath Software Licensing Service Get OA3X Original Product Key in the black dialog box and hit enter to execute the command. 4. Product key for your system will be displayed on the screen. 5. Open settings and select update and security section. 6. Choose activation section and select change the product key. 7. Enter the product key and click on the next button. Number 5. Perform in place upgrade. Error 0xe004c003 can also be fixed by performing an in-place upgrade. This technique solves most of the problems associated with Windows activation without losing any files, settings, or applications. Follow these steps to activate Windows by performing an in-place upgrade. 1. Open Windows 10 download page. 2. Download Media Creation Tool by clicking on Download Tool Now. 3. Go to your Downloads folder and run the file named Media Creation Tool version X. 4. Once the Windows 10 in-place upgrade process begins, accept all the applicable notices and license terms. 5. Wait for a few minutes until the disappearance of the Getting Ready screen. 6. Two options will be displayed on your screen. Create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file, for another PC, and upgrade this PC now. 7. Choose upgrade this PC now and click the next button. 8. Wait for a few minutes until the tool downloads the required files. 9. Once the download process has been completed, you will be asked to keep your previous files or install fresh directories. If you do not want to lose your files, choose the first option. 10. You will get a message, your computer will restart several times. This might take a while. 11. Once the in-place upgrade process has been completed, Log into Windows 10 by using your Microsoft account credentials and customize the settings. Number 6. Perform SFC scan. System file checker or SFC scan identifies and replaces corrupted files with cached copies by comprehensively scanning the protected system files. Given below are the steps to perform an SFC scan. Here's how you can perform an SFC scan. 1. Launch command prompt by pressing Windows key plus X or typing CMD in Windows search. 2. Choose command prompt, admin, to run the program as an administrator. 3. Type SFC slash scan now in the black dialog box and hit enter to execute the command. 4. Wait for 15 minutes until the SFC scan has been completed. 5. In case any errors are shown in the result history, take appropriate action to fix that problem. 6. Keep command prompt open until the verification process is 100% complete. 7. Once the task is over, reboot to save the changes. Number 7. Update your BIOS. Microsoft registers your hardware before issuing Windows 10 license. This means your BIOS plays a key role in the activation process since it is in charge of system hardware. If you are experiencing difficulty activating Windows 10, you need to update your BIOS. BIOS update not only fixes any incompatibility issues but also adds new features to your hardware. Here is how you can flash your BIOS. 1. Open Start menu while your system starts and tap the power button. 2. Select the Restart option by holding the Shift key. 3. Select Troubleshoot followed by Advanced Options and UEFI Firmware Settings. 4. 
Click the restart button to boot your computer to BIOS. Number 8. Ping network starts with Microsoft servers. Finally, try these steps to fix error 0xe004c003. 1. Launch command prompt by pressing Windows key plus X or typing CMD in Windows search. 2. Choose command prompt, admin, to run the program as an administrator. 3. Type in slookup office 365.com in the black dialog box and hit enter to execute the command. 4. Replace Office 365 with your current versions and add the address of the Microsoft servers. Conclusion? This video explains 8 different techniques to fix error 0xc004c003 and install Windows 10. You need to be extremely careful while executing these methods because some of them are a little tricky and require advanced expertise. If all these techniques do not work, Contact Tech Support Chat, available 24-7. Linked below. If you found this video on how to fix error code 0xc004c003 helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we release more videos similar to this one. Check in the description below for links to free PDF downloads and the tools we recommend like Restoro and Tech Support Chat. Thanks for watching.